What's happening everybody? Mike from Metacomics coming at you with an update. So I am about to embark on a new adventure and so as a result I'm going to be changing up the way I do some things here with Metacomics. Mostly in regards to um, how I do the reviews and how many reviews I'm going to be doing per week. Now before I get into those changes there, let me tell you what this adventure of mine is going to consist of. Currently I am working on a creator-owned comic book for a friend of mine. I am doing the writing for that. I've written the first issue and it is being drawn up and inked and all that good stuff. But I've decided to um, take that a step further and develop my own creator-owned comic book and characters that I have been dying to do for some time. So the problem was, the reason I didn't try that earlier is because putting together a comic book is rather expensive. If you want quality work, you have to pay an artist to do that. And not just an artist, but an inker, a colorist, a flattist, and a letterer. I mean, there's a lot of crap that goes into putting together a comic book, so it's not as simple as just, you know, putting down a few doodles, writing a script, and calling it a day. There's a lot more to it than that. So up until now, I didn't have the financial security, I guess, to go ahead and, you know, slowly but surely put together something like that. My situation has changed, so now I would like to pursue that. So I am going to be working on a creator-owned book. I'm going to be developing the idea and the characters first, and then, sorry, I keep scratching. I've got like 30 freaking mosquito bites. Um, I'm going to develop all that stuff, and I'm going to write up the script, and then I'm going to have to slowly pay to get the book put together. And at some point, if the book you know, does well in some reviews, I'm going to try to build a um, Kickstarter type thing to fund it so that I can get it printed up. But I'm also working on an actual book for uh, my other job, my political stuff. So I will be doing that project right after I finish the script for the first issue of the comic book. So I've got these really awesome opportunities and I felt like I needed to take them. Now, in order to get that to happen in a timely manner, I have to change how I do the reviews. I am only going to probably do three reviews a week. I know that seems like a low number with the amount of books to come out, so I'm going to have to be highly selective about the books that I review. And instead of seeing you know pages of the actual comic, I am probably just going to do a vlog-style review like this so that I could save myself time on editing and things. Um, believe it or not, those videos take a lot longer because I have to record the audio, then go back and then mess with all the pictures and things, whereas I could do like a three, four minute video like this, put it right into my editing software, make a couple changes, and it's ready to go. So I'll be able to do all those probably in one day, which will free up you know several days during the week to work on the comic book and my book. So those are some of the changes that are going on. I didn't know if you guys knew that, if I had talked about that in prior videos about the fact that you know I, I do write comic books and have had some, some decent feedback from professional uh, comic writers on my work who really, really enjoy what I've done, even though I haven't seen the full issue release yet. They've read the script and, and given me some feedback. So this is something I feel like I can actually do and that I can create something people will like. So. I decided to go ahead and follow that part of my dream. And regardless, I've got a job, so if it doesn't work out, hey, I at least did something awesome with my time and with my talents. So yeah, that's what's coming up. Also, I will be trying to do probably one video that's just like a topic video, uh, talking about some item of news or something of, of that nature. Um, just some kind of topic that's you know, hot right now or just something that's been on my mind. So I'll be doing those four videos a week and that'll be it. So I, you know, I'm not going to be putting up like five review videos and then, you know, doing some extra stuff. Uh, I'll try to do some movie reviews here and there. Like I'm actually going to do a Blu-ray review of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 because I didn't go see it at the theater. I saw how bad it was tanking with uh, comic book fans and I decided that was not something I was willing to plop down 20 bucks for me and my... Uh, wife or whoever to go see so I decided to wait until it came out on video which it does today so there we go all right guys that's all I got um, hopefully I will see you guys in the next set of reviews coming up peace